have the teams joining Team Apex, ranked number seven against the tenth seeded Watermelon Eating Time. Tier six, Div seven. Round one of IGL playoffs, Fall 2020. Tangling Sphinx cheats up. Now he's passing, bounces coming out of the corner and shown X. Misses a, the first opportunity of the series right there. Sphinx going up the wall. Touches it to blue side, Chronicle J. Kind of gives it up a little bit. Maybe could have popped it at the net. He does get a demo on. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Tangling Sphinx beats one man, beats the second and the goal late. 1 0 wet. Yeah, he, it looked like he got Lucky Zonky flipped around there. And Lucky Zonky recovers well with the half flip, but just can't get back in time. As Sphinx just drives it ferociously at the net. Shown coming down, gets a side 100. Chronicle. Gets 100 himself, puts it at orange net, but Tangling Sphinx is waiting. Might hit ceiling, doesn't quite. This one might drip in. And Zonky helps it along, 1-1. One, one. Shown pops up, Sphinx kind of stuck on the wall there, and that one will even it up. Kickoff. Shonex gets the better of it. Sphinx cheats up. Ball gets around him. Now Zonky puts it over. Captain of Wet Shone. Crossy day dangerous. Eight out of ten doctors recommend not passing in front of your own net. Shonex touching. Chronicle J puts it out at the 50. Zonky bringing it around. Is it crossing? Does he want to shoot it? Sphinx isn't waiting to find out. Clears it out. Nice touch there from Zonky. Shown X. Touches it. Sphinx. See, he's working on something. Zonky lurking. Maybe Sphinx wanted a little more boost. That one. That play looked a little awkward there. Lucky dunks. Chronicle. Tries to cross it. But no one was waiting for the shot except Sphinx as he goes long distance with that one for their second goal. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. It's the long bomb bullet. One, two. Advantage wet. Kickoff comes. Lucky Zonky, sidewall, picks up 100. Shown X, halts it. Now Sphinx touching, Chronicle J coming up. Puts it back to orange side, show next. Taking his time, coming off the wall. Decent pass, no one really ready to handle it. And Sphinx is alone. Pops it, this one may finish. And it gets evened up again. Two, two. Face off. Even everybody but Chronicle J comes roaring up to it. Touches. Shonex puts it out. Zonky waiting. Patient. Up to 80 boost. Gets bumped by his partner. Shonex. Does he want to pass back? Not sure what he's working on. Going out to the side. He's definitely low on boost. Lucky puts one on. Sphinx. He's waiting there. Chronicle J. Tries to get a shot off, but gets met outside the net. Touch there. Bit of a double commit. Show next. Takes it from him. Plane tries to cross it, but Lucky gets back quick. It looks like Lucky Zonky's good at those recovery plays. He gets caught out of position, but he's able to recover, get back on defense really fast. Which is pretty advantageous in, in twos when there's a lot of... 1v1 plays and he puts a long one out. Lucky Zonky. <laughs> 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 and
And it's kind of just what I was talking about. When it's when it's only two members of a team on the field at, at a given time, it's really easy to get behind the defense. That, that's why recovery and positioning, it goes a long way. Touch. Zonky finishes it up. Tiny long legs. What up? Zonky looks like he's loosening up a bit. That was legitness. 4-2. We got tiny long legs in the chat. For sure scouting out the, the competition here. Or maybe just enjoying Rocket League. I don't know. I'll let, I'll let him explain it if he feels like it. Coming up. Shown touches out. Chronicle J pops up. Going up. Sphinx looking. Waiting. Well, don't let it in. And they battle it out. Assassin is pulling his hair out, but Shown looking great off the wall. Zonky, a good enough touch. Shown trying to cross, not enough. Tiny Logleg says scouting. <laughs> he said, I don't like Rocket League that much. But I, I appreciate it. We're going to be talking about you again in the, uh, the post-game interview demo there. Mother trucker, dude. The Wet finding themselves in a two-goal hole. A minute. Shown trying to bump, but Sphinx gets caught. Peek it into the backfield again, and that one drops. Zonky. Hot. Five goals. Chronicle J not even having to break a hundred in this game one so far. Good play. Assassin's pounding. I don't know if he's trying to rally the troops or letting out some frustration. <laughs> Got a demo there. Chronicle J. Meeting Shown X. Shown. Trying to do his best impression of someone that has boost. Demo there. <laughs> he's already dead. Long legs is guessing frustration. That that's yeah, that's fair. Just never know. A lot gets lost in text translation. Sphinx going, trying to cross. Chronicle J. Nice catch. Battles to the corner. Assassin said show never has boost. That's his secret. And this one is advantage. Apex. But Wet strings together a sequence that gives them their third goal. Good play. Perhaps a little too late, at least for game one. Sessa says no boost to Andy. <laughs> All right, so GG's from the from the game chat. It was a good game. Uh, Lucky Zonky was just able to break it loose late. 9-1-1. If you need an MVP, call 9-1-1. You get Lucky Zonky. He'll hook you up with five goals a save. Eight shots total from Team Apex. Both teams about ready. We'll go back in. And below zero says Assassin's a boost goblin. I yeah, you know, I think I am too. Actually. Which uh it's pretty frustrating when you're playing with like random teammates and they're not used to that kind of play style. Both teams joining. I'm in spectate. Vaughn. Here to support Wet, but he's you know, five goals is hard to ignore. And an early goal, perhaps not quite. I, I don't know who shot it. I think that was shown, and it looked good, but it seemed like he turned away from it instead of securing it. Zonky, backed up. Passes it. Sphinx up. Can he double touch? He won't need it. Just drops it. That shot looks a little wet. No pun intended here. This nice little teardrop. Zonky can't... Zonky, sorry. Can't handle. Looks like Sean was in his face a little bit. Lucky rocking the clover topper. I like it. 1-0. Sphinx cheats up. Probably should have got that side 100, but chooses to advance without it. Demo there. Puffy. Chronicle J. Battling. Corner. Coming down. Sean touches. Sphinx. A breakaway play if they want it. Sphinx puts it out. And Chronicle J. Didn't have to do much in game one, but an incredible goal saver right there. Another demo. Boom, baby. Another demo. We'll just keep it going. Get him a body bag. Yeah. And 
Chronicle gets past Sphinx. He tries to finish, just can't quite get around. He's cursing in the quick chat. Sphinx coming around, beats Zonky. Passing. Traversing the field, going long ways, trying to get a handle. He's dribbling, he's looking tricky. Hard to guess what he'll do next. Lands in the corner. Gets the 100. Pops up, nice 50. Shown may be the first man on this. A lucky, just very quick. He's been showing us that all series long. Well, I guess <laughs> game one and now this game. Just up quick. I thought Shone had a good look at it here. I don't know his boost situation. But Lucky's not only quick, but accurate as well. And that evens up the score. Assassin is, <laughs> is going to be mood swinging this whole series, it looks like. Sphinx pops it out. Chronicle getting back. But Zonky gets it, almost gets clobbered. But now Sphinx up. Another, another raindrop. Chronicle J was, he was, he was there, but it's just one of those, it's too high, just kind of a bit of a knuckleball. Yeah, he had the right idea, pretty close, but 2-1, wet. Let's see if they can hang on to this lead. They had a lead in the first game as well. <laughs> nice shot from Shone as he drops one in, 3-1. Kick off here, kicks out, Shone cheats up, he's fast. And Chronicle, the second time he gets caught in the net like that, when just kind of, not an impossible situation, but very, very uncomfortable to make that save. Now Sphinx cheating up, and now Zonky gets caught, and that is two kickoff goals. Right here, Zonky thought about cheating up, but a little too late, and at that point, you're just in no man's land. And now Team Apex is down three, but we've seen him score in bunches, so... Would not count these out. Assassin giving us a six pack. <laughs> Chronicle J up. Couldn't quite put his nose on the ball. Now Zonky can't come up quick, but lack the accuracy that we were used to seeing on that particular shot. Sphinx beats Chronicle. Coming up. Shown with an opportunity. But he squanders that. Working on the demo. Gets nothing. Make sure it doesn't cross in front of the net. Good play. Touching. Going to Chronicle's side, but Lucky staying fast. Bit of a short cycle, but no double commit. Nice play there. Zonky gets awarded the shot. But no one with the save, so it kind of just went right off that right post there. <laughs> nice demo. Dude. Touching around. Zonky. Good shot. Oh, and Sphinx can't quite get it. Good shot by Lunky. Lucky. <laughs> Lunky Zonky. Good play. And Sphinx just pops up. Had the right idea. Just can't quite put his frame on it. Still a two goal lead. <laughs> Assassin. No, Sphinx! I think he thought Shone was there with the, some shooting help. But uh, at last, he was not. Touching around. Demo there from Sphinx. Oh boy, here I go killing again. There he goes, killing again! And Zonky respawns, gets on the save, gets awarded the save, but Shone X just slaps it right back in his trap. Nice play. And they're back up 3, 140. We'll await the assassin emoji. And there it is. <laughs> Zonky up. Has an opportunity. Sphinx. Patient as ever. Good play. Good shot. Good save. Chronicle trying to fall down on it. But Shown puts it blue net. Blue corner, rather. Zonky coming around. Dribble looks nice and clean. But Shown scrapes it off his top. Now Sphinx. Looking good. Zonky, great save there. Touchy Chronicle J trying to mount some offense. But Sphinx has put on some good rotations. Nice patience and good saves. 
in this game two shown X goodness sir they go up four goals here that was legitness right off this passenger headlight nice shot Oh, below Zero's loving it. Below Zero, of course, the sub of uh, Watermelon Eden Times 2's team. Not sure if he'll see any action now. Assassin's flexing and Shown X is flexing. It's a best of five, gentlemen. You want to save some goals for the rest of the series, but they are catching Apex in these precarious situations and taking advantage. Gotta see the shot efficiency. Yeah, Shown X is shooting 100% right now. Sphinx cheating up. We're under a minute. This You got to think this one's out of reach. We missed the Brazil because of Apex goals. Shown X almost added an eighth, an eighth score there. Gets pit maneuvered. Von Six says the route is on. Uh, for sure. The only thing. Oh, another one. Here comes eight. Sphinx wants the crazy eight. Puts it on. 20 seconds left. And that's the only thing is that, you know, it is a best of five. So as great as this win is, very dominated, very decisive, it doesn't really help you along the series unless you kind of use that momentum going forward, maybe get in your opponent's heads. And that's something that's yet to be seen. But, you know, we'll be here. Shown can't quite handle it. Chronicle J coming around. This is just for GP at this point. And, you know, Lucky Zonky, he's, he's, had, he's been a sure shooter this, this, thus far and couldn't quite get his mitts on that one. And Wet responds. Now the series is tied 1-1. I do have a 7 p.m. Pacific time game. And if this goes five games, this may take me to the limit. We got the Sphinx. Four goals, 782 assists, two saves, 11 shots from these boys. Good game. Chronicle J might be dealing with some ping. We'll see here. But yeah, eight, eight goals. We'll ready up. Both teams ready. Tiny Longlegs says Apex needs to stop passing around the back wall. Yeah, I, I saw some of that. I don't know how much of it's uh, actual passes as much as them just kind of getting trapped against their own wall and just trying to, trying to clear it out over the goal and then maybe just not making the greatest touch that they can. But yeah, there was some of that. Show. Touching. Zonky all over it. With the game like that, you gotta wonder if he's gonna change strats. That looked pretty. One oh, lucky Zonky. Uh, like I was saying, I don't know if this is gonna be a conscious effort where he maybe perhaps wants to be more in the face of wet. Cause when they're hanging back, they got shot on and we saw how that ended. Assassin says Shown should have got boost there. Chronicle. Lofts it. Sphinx might be behind Lucky. Not quite. And if he was, he was a little wide. Now Shown trying to swing it around. Which he does. But not sure if it's if they'll swing it back in. Not quite. Corner bounces off. Chronicle J doesn't touch. That leaves Lucky with a bit of a 2v1, but Wet has to take advantage quick. Demo. Puts it on, and it gets past Chronicle J. Bit of an awkward shot. Chronicle is in a, a, a decent spot. Yeah, just a little late. It had a little more, little more pepper on it than I think he was ready for. And now it's tied up, 1-1. Comes back. Advantage shown, but Chronicle J 50s him on the orange end. Shown at 70 boost. 50. Chronicle not around. He's up now. But not quite. Now Sphinx may be behind blue. Coming around. 
Swings it in. Does he want to pass? Shone was bullying. And nothing will happen there. Sphinx may have been better off just, just going straight, taking it straight to the hole, if you will, on that one. Zonky can't touch. Jay can't touch. Shone can touch, but not the one that he wants. Assassin says too much pepper. <laughs> Let's get the hashtag going. Sphinx touches out. Get, beats one man, but puts it out of reach of his teammate. And now Lucky has an opportunity. And makes the most of it, but Shone stays patient, stays flat-footed. And now Sphinx is running it in. 2-1. So last time Wet had a lead, they didn't they didn't give it back. Game two kinda got got out of hand. <laughs> Assassin's liking liking the pepper. No salt here. Coming around. Chronicle looks like he beats Tangling and Shone X. Yeah, but that backflip though. Shone comes on, put some pepper on that Parmesan. 3-1. Zonky, had, get, I think he was trying to pass off the wall, but Tangling Sphinx just tackles him. And now Wet is up 2 1. Vaughn, six, uh, Vaughn 66 transition goals. Yep. Language. That's, that's the vernacular. Shonex bullying through. Now Shonex keeps the bully going. Let's see if Sphinx can capitalize. His last, he cannot. Tiny long legs. Apex is playing like trash. No offense. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I, I, I know what you mean. And I think them in an honest moment, they're not. They're probably not playing up to their own standards at the moment. 4-1. Because, I mean, you look at their game one performance, especially from Zonky. Um, they, they, they look like they're poised to control the, the series. But, you know, this one, we might be watching it develop and slowly get out of reach for them. Cause now this one's past Zonky, maybe goal number Cinco Five. Apex tilts. Hey, that, that's what I was saying. When you beat a team eight to two or those those big uh, those high discrepancy numbers, it, it can get in the other team's um, it can get in their head for sure. It's it can be a bit of a mental check. That's why it, uh, a short memory. It definitely works to your advantage. Just try to shut that game out. Know that it that's not you. And go back to what you do best. Zonky coming around. Looking good. 50s. And Chronicle is going to have to swing around to get in front of that one again. Coming around Sphinx. 50s. Chronicle should be scooping up here. Good shot from him. It goes a little high. Zonky wanted to keep pressure on, but it said at 50s. Ball will remain on orange side of the field. About a minute and a half left. Tiny long legs. Wet will play the two seed if they win. Uh, yeah. You know what's funny is that um, you two are the same seeds, I think, in both brackets. <laughs> it's really funny to look at. Up. Oh. Ball down. Yeah, but that backflip though. Touching. Pressure, you know, with the four goal deficit, you gotta think, uh, you gotta think this is out of, out of reach here. Shown, coming through, and Sphinx will finish it up, despite Assassin saying they're low key trash. <laughs> Chronicle, yeah, he was coming off the wall, couldn't really handle it. May have been low on boost, and now that's a five goal differential. 6 1. Those watermelon eating hooligans. Zonky gets the 100, stays on the ball, beats one man. He's got Shown looking in the net. Crosses. No good. Uh, I think it's. I think it might be Tiny Long Legs, but I might be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure he's in the twos bracket. But um, we'll have the bracket up in the post-game uh, interview for sure. 
Okay, now tiny long legs. What? What? You're in that bracket though, right, uh, Tiny? Sphinx corrals it in this corner. Ten seconds. This one, you know, just kind of going because we have to. No forfeits at IGL, so to speak. My team is the number nine. So, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, when I was putting the when I was getting the bracket, I saw that you guys were in there. I just couldn't remember the seed. 7-1. So we do get a, a last second Brazil. Kick off. Sphinx. Number 8. Crazy 8. The Ocho as time expires. <laughs> I've never seen that Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> GG's still a good game I mean especially in the early going but I darn you have to wonder where where Apex's head is at um, you know the number 7 seed versus the number 10 it's not quite the same thing as like a number 1 versus a number 16 these teams are pretty evenly matched I mean they have a 1 win differential between them as far as the regular season is concerned so could go either way. Sphinx, Sphinx and uh, and Shone looks like they're sharing goal duties again. They go four four apiece. I didn't check the efficiency on that one, cause that's not really where the narrative is taking us on this series. Cause we're one game away from an upset and a early exit from uh, by Team Apex from this Fall 2020 playoff. Coming around, show next. No boost, chat loves it. Coming around, gets the 100. Now he can cross. What's he working on? 50s. Gets awarded the shot. Zonky, low on boost. I think he would have came off the wall if he had more. We've seen some good stuff out of him early. Puts it on, but right to Sphinx's car. No touch there, Chronicle. He's got a power slide. Oh, and he goes off. Chronicle's going to be kicking himself for that one. Perfect opportunity. He even had enough time to turn around and just misses the side swipe. Didn't need really that much of an angle either. Sphinx out. 50s up. Ceiling. Someone needs to touch. Shown. Staring it down. Touches out big. Tiny Longlet says, Wet actually beat us in... The six weeks. Oh, interesting. Ah, okay, okay. Demo out there. <laughs> He's already dead. Sphinx back on the ball. Chronicle J. I, I say that was a good play, but it looked like Zonky may have been waiting. Oh, and Sphinx tries to run interference, but kind of helps it along to his goal. It's the clover leaf. It's got to be the clover leaf. <laughs> Assassin going back to his game one roots with the emotes. Zonky puts it out and Sphinx sends it right back into his net for his troubles. As that ties it up, he gets the chest bump from his captain. Good shot. Here's Sphinx. Woo! I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. Let's see what we got here. You know, we've seen good things out of Chronicle J, but at this point, you, you got to think if if Apex is going to corral a, a last-minute win, then it's it's going to be on the back of Zonky. 50 goes straight out. Big bomb towards the orange side. Chronicle J. Moving fast. Good cross there. But now they're behind. Sphinx trying to catch up to the play. These are these transition points we're talking about. Nothing here so far. Now Zonky's on the play. Comes to help out his teammate. Show next. 50s. Oh, a bit of a double commit and a bump. Definitely a miscue. And this one's floating a blue net. Zonky trying to handle it. He gets put on net. Good save by... Good save by Jay there. Puts it on. 
Chronicle can't handle this. May be trouble. Shown X proves that it is. Two, one. Show next. That play was brought to you by Confidence. Because he was kind of going full steam ahead before he even saw that Chronicle J uh, miss there outside his net. <laughs> Sassy giving us cookies. Warm baked. As wet is heating up here. Keeping their momentum going that they started building in game two, really. Chronicle staring it down and dunks. Sphinx. Tiny Long Legs is convinced. He says Wet has it in the bag. Another demo there. Puffy. Wet has it in the bag. I I don't know. I, I think we've all seen crazy ass things in Rocket League. Both in IGL, ranked, customs, whatever. So a goal difference, you know, I, I personally don't find it too secure. But I mean, if you're talking about momentum or, or, or maybe just a, ability, a line up man for man. Pass. Sphinx puts it on, making tiny long legs look smart in the chat. 3 1. <laughs> Assassin says, Wet gonna choke. A true fan. As his boys go up two goals. Minute 40 left. Tiny Long Legs says Jay keeps double committing. I've noticed a few. I'm usually watching the ball, so I don't I don't I'm getting it all in. But I have noticed a few, and your mentality will definitely play into that, right? If if you feel like you got to make up time, you're not performing like your best, you might try to overcompensate with speed or more plays, but that may throw off your, your usual dichotomy of your team, if you will. And this one is an orange corner. Coming down to the minute mark. We will get the post interview from either captain, no matter who wins, but, you know, Shonex, big friend of the channel. Coming around, so we will hear from him if they can hang on to this two-goal lead. Tiny long legs leaves them stranded. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Comes up. Some of their better plays are where Chronicle J stays back and he's there for the save. Bump there. Now Sphinx is on it. Chronicle J stayed back, but he's kind of in a weird position. Flips correctly. Good play there. And now 50s. This will make, he's definitely on net. Let's see how Sphinx handles it. And he does not, the long bong from Jay. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. Almost the distance of the field in Sphinx. You gotta think he was in ball camp, perhaps. That's hard to handle. Three, two, and this is what we were talking about with that one goal difference. Kickoff, half a, half a minute here. Show next, keeping pressure on. Touchdown. Going. Picks up the side hundred. Show next. The go ahead goal. I know we got a lot of wet feds in the chat right now, and that may have very well sealed the deal. Two goals, 12 seconds. Assassin is flexing. After the grimace emote, of course. Zonky touching down. Another one? They don't need it for sure. Five seconds. And shown there on the play. And we'll see if I get my main man, Shown X, in here. GG's. Yeah, GG's both teams. I mean, you, you see Apex. You see why they have won uh, three regular season games. You see the ability. It's just, you know, anything can happen. And that's why we show up and play the game. <laughs> Tiny Long Legs predicted the Apex win. Let me call Sean. Hey Shuffle man, show! Look at you. You're. I don't see you, but you're glowing. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I'm glowing, man. I feel like I'm glowing. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You have the floor. Uh, that was nuts. Yes. Uh, 
Lucky Zonkey is a complete and utter madman. The he, guy no, is he, insane. No, he is. I, I thought, <laughs> you know, I, I've seen you guys have some hard times on this channel before. Let's just let's just be real with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, damn, it might be one of these days for them. Because he, well, he looked good throughout the series, uh, yes. first of all. But in game one, he looked like a, a mega problem that I, you know, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to be ready to address. I mean, uh, yesterday in the post-game interview, uh, from yesterday's match, you were talking about how twos maybe kind of uh, leaves you in uncomfortable spots that, that you don't like. And um, Zayazanki, he looks very capable to take advantage of those. Yeah, yeah. When we uh, when me and my team play t plays two, we usually categorize our opponents as either uh, ones players or threes players. We don't really ever categorize anyone as a twos player. Ah, and you okay. can kind of tell the difference there. Uh, right. Chronicle very much played like a threes player. You know, he was trying to, you know, work with his team and he, you know, wasn't going up when he probably should have. He wasn't being as aggressive. Right. Whereas King Fury was the opposite. He was trying to treat it like well, he was 1v2. Uh, well, Lucky Zonky. Yeah, my bad. My <laughs> bad. Good, Lucky Zonky. Good. What did I say? You said King Fury. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, man. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. If, yeah. I, if I was on the field, it would have been much different. It probably would have. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It probably would have. But yeah, no. He um he plays just you know like like it's a ones match. Right. Right. You know some of the dribbles he would get past us in goal. Even when you know we were doubling up in goal, really in the first match started to really put a damper on us. When we were just trying to figure out what the hell we could do. Right. And then we um, yeah, managed be... to pull off one of our kickoffs yeah. that we we do a lot. And, uh, you know, Tangling Sphinx coming in with that accuracy, yes, as usual. Yes, he had some of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you both were well, just efficient, just on, on goal efficiency. That was there for sure. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, there was some, like, mid shots from midfield that both of you put on. But, yeah, Sphinx, Sphinx he had some there <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, it, he, especially some of just those, you know, cross-field shots, right. you know, from goal. It, he just would sink those constantly it felt like or at least get them on goal to where if you know they almost had to keep someone back yeah it was it was pretty consistent um you know your, your boy tiny long leg was in here uh scouting the competition but i don't <laughs> the way the bracket's structured i don't i don't think it'd be a, a bit before you before you see him i gotta look at that right now hold on but uh, go ahead. When you guys uh, went up, um, when you got got the eight goal game in game two, how are you guys feeling? How was the chat? Uh, it was it was pretty hype. Um, not as hype as it probably should have been. But, um... <laughs> well, it's game two though, and I uh, it, when you watch the vod back, I, I'm talking about it. You obviously you appreciate the win, but it only matters so much. In a best of five, mm -hmm. it only counts for one. You know what I mean? You don't get extra yep. points, you know, because it was like a five goal lead or anything like that. So. Yeah, you definitely want to be happy, but maybe not too, oh, like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, game two, it really felt like we had uh, gotten into a formula that seemed to be um, hard for them to counter at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, game three, we really noticed, uh, especially uh, Zonky, trying to switch up. But I, I think, you know, it, it just uh, was too late at that point. You know, right? It, right. Uh, the, the adjustments had taken too long right so right but yeah right right after the game two then you put on a, a similar performance in game three with i think another eight goals uh, mm -hmm. at that point you guys kind of kind of got to know that okay maybe we were on to something here yeah yeah game two at the end of game two i was actually i was i was yelling at tangling sphinx we were uh, we wanted to keep it seven to one just you know for bragging rights you know for, <laughs> so that way we could say we brazilled them well, but, um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm I'm in the I'm in the contingency of people that thinks the game doesn't have to end as a seven-one. You just need to hit it at some point in the match. Oh, okay. But that's okay. me. I, you know, people differ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think if you hit it once in the match, a point was made. You know, that's a decisive win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, at that last kickoff, um, I, tingling, I, I was talking to him. I was like, "What the hell?" And he goes, "I just couldn't help myself. I saw the shot and I had to go for it." 
you know? <laughs> well, it, it was there because I think there was two seconds on the clock, and it just yeah, exactly. He did he did cheat up, so he, yeah. he was already yeah. maybe more aggressive than you guys agreed on. But you know, since he was there, <laughs> I'm not I'm not too mad at it. Um, we got tiny long legs in the chat, uh, of course. He's always watching you guys. It's kind of it's very uh, swim fanny. I don't know. Where it was. <laughs> um, so tiny, when when did you when you did you already play your round one? Because you'll face the number one seed, and then uh, and then uh, shown you'll play number two. Uh, yeah, Lucy number Goblin, two. Yeah. Yeah, I here. haven't seen. Uh, I haven't played them at all, and I haven't really talked to anyone who's played them. But I'm right. assuming they're they're on top of it, considering you know, right, <clears throat> being the number two seed and all. But yeah, it. Uh, yeah, no, it was that was a. Uh, a very unexpected game, to be honest. Yeah, I, good. I Congrats. Not, I don't think I've said yeah. that yet. I think we went straight <laughs> into the jokes. You know, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of talk from uh, Assassin, Sphinx, or Below Zero. Yeah, I'm scrolling through the chat right now, and it seems like uh, you know Assassin was Which, cheering us on for you, once. You know, <laughs> you know, knowing uh, knowing your boys, that that may, may be the best compliment they could give. Yeah, it's oh, just nope, not talking is. trash. Yeah, no, here's some shit talking about how I don't have boost. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. But, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to let you go. I have another match at, uh, at 7 uh, Pacific. Mm -hmm. So I don't, don't want to mm -hmm. cut you out, but we can't, uh, we can't goof off like we normally do. i got to set up here. <laughs> if, if you watch the VOD back, I actually try to get ahead of myself and set the rosters. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> try clowning. To, try to, I'm clowning. I'm clowning. I, I think the 2v2 bracket, you could still put your predictions in. I believe maybe I could be wrong, but, mm. you know, got don't, those don't, predictions don't in there. Don't tempt me, but well, you, guys, <laughs> you guys are bracket busters at this point. Uh, hey, honestly, long, yeah. Long legs, long legs is in the chat saying that he predicted Apex. Yeah, I think on my prediction, I predicted Apex as well. I did not, <laughs> I did not put us ahead of them. That's for that sure. That's the most point shaving thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, man. Any wow. closing remarks, plugs, shoutouts? The boys are here uh, still. Yeah, boys are here. Uh, thanks for tangling Sphinx for you know carrying my ass. He looked um, good. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Sphinx. I I usually ask you, but you know, obvious uh, game ball to him, right? Yep, game ball yep. to him. He he's currently has a sore throat and is going through some throat pain at the moment. So he you know wasn't playing probably. He battled as, uh, through flu game. Yep, it's yep. He battled <laughs> through it and he still still carried it through. I'm not gonna plug my SoundCloud because I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, shout out to you know the other team, Lucky Zonkey, and you know it's just they were good. They were good. You know we just we found yeah, a rut. Yeah, no, they were good. We found found something that uh. That worked, uh, luckily for yeah, us. Otherwise, it would have been a short game. Zonky's in the chat. I guess he played the the Gobblers in the regular season. He said they scored like seven in a minute Holy. thirty against <laughs> us. So they might be uh, like a true number two. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> a diamond diamond team in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All I'll, right. I'll, I'll let you go. Good talking to you. Congrats. Enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. Apparently, the gobblers are gonna give you a, a battle yeah, we're, next week. Yeah, we're we're gonna have a run for our money. That's for sure. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. Later. Later. All right, that was that was my guy, Shown X, and his boys from Watermelon Eating Time. And Shown X is just. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What would you guys say? I don't. Sphinx, good game, Fury. Thanks for casting our games. Of course, man. If you, yeah, I think our schedules always line up. But uh, just just let me know if it if it doesn't. I'll try to get something going. But it seems like I can usually facilitate you guys' matches. Um, but yeah, Shown X is just uh, I, a bit of a philanthropist. I don't know. I don't know what I. Let this man win more often. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Dilly in the chat. All right.